All right, so it's like really rainy outside. It's not that beautiful of a day. You know, I'm just sitting in my car right now, going back and forth with some thoughts, going back and forth with some subjects. And I'm thinking about exactly how I want to word this um, as I make this video. But I'm going to just go ahead and say it and let the Lord lead me um, every word of the way. Uh, listen, folks, we are not put here to argue among ourselves. We are not put here to sow discord and strife within the body of Christ. We're not put here to try to convince anybody of anything. We are simply here to preach the gospel to every living creature. Whether somebody believes that or not is on them. Whether somebody accepts it or not. It's on them. And if they reject what it is you have to say, just like the Bible says, Jesus told the disciples that if they reject you and wherever you preach this word, dust the uh, dirt off of your feet and keep it moving. Move on to the next person. For every person that does not hear you, two or three more people may give, a, give it some thought as to what you're saying here. And I just... You know, I, every single day, you know, I see arguing on YouTube. I see arguing on Facebook when it comes to doctrine, this, that, and the third. Um, I've had several conversations with people. Uh, sometimes we see eye to eye on everything, and then sometimes we don't. I think we live in a society that if we think that some because someone disagrees with us, that they hate us or they don't like us when that's not true. Uh, the fact is, we're not always going to agree on every single point that there is when it comes to the Bible. The Bible is the most complex book in the entire world. It's not something that can be taken lightly, and it is something that is um, taken out of context um, often. So we have to be very careful with how we interpret it and you know, decipher through when somebody is actually feeding you. If you're under the leadership of a pastor or a preacher or whoever it may be that you're learning from. Okay. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because, you know, I've gone back and forth with a young lady recently over the subject of, of the Trinity and oneness. And despite providing, um, scripture, because the Bible does not need any help defending itself. It's either you believe it or you don't. Like my real question would be, why is it a person is trying to fight the reasons that you're giving, especially if it's scripture? Why are they trying to contest it? What is it that they're trying to hold on to? A lot of people are holding on to dead religion. Religion is not going to save you. Only the blood of Christ saves you regardless of your belief, regardless of how you were raised, if it does not go in sync with the word of God, then you're pretty much just wasting your time. And since me and that young lady could not really come to a, um, an agreement, we just agree to disagree. But I know that nothing I say is, 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 is my opinion. Nothing I say is from my own interpretation or my own point of view. It is completely from the word of God, because if that way, if a person has a problem, they can't say that they have a problem with me. Just like you fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, when you're trying to present the gospel to somebody or you're trying to present scripture to somebody for correction, they can't get mad at you. They can only get mad at the word of God. That means that their problem isn't with you. It's with the Lord, you know, and it's a, that's a battle that they're just, you know, not going to win. Um, and there are also individuals out there who say, that, well, they don't go to church. They don't want to go to church. Um, you know, Hebrews tells us to not forsaken the assembling of, you know, of one another uh, for various reasons. Um, do you not understand that we live in a very wicked world? We live in a world that is completely against God and that hates Jesus and that endorses sin full heartedly. Don't you understand that we need to be around a body of individuals so that we can keep ourselves accountable if we fall, so that we can get fed spiritually and fellowship among one another? Because the heathens in this world, they got each other's back. But the Bible says that, you, you know, you will not be not of this world, but be transformed of the configuration of your mind. So if you're going to forsake the church, you are definitely putting yourself in a really, really big bind that you may not be able to get out of, okay? And even when you provide scripture for that, people will try to justify it. 
uh, possibly for the past, or maybe they were hurt from a different church, or they try to use the excuse of um, churches only want nothing but money, and all of them um, are false prophets, when those are all lies, and people deep down know that. So, you know, to sum this up, let's not argue with people. Just give people scripture, keep it moving, pray for them, and then just, you know, go on to the next. Because there's some very eager people in this world who really want to learn about Jesus Christ. They want to learn about God. They want to learn how to do things according to the scriptures. <clears throat> you got people who quote unquote are seeking, looking for truth. The truth is right in front of you. But the problem is that there are individuals who try to interpret the word of God to fit their narrative instead of being under an individual who is mature, who can, who, who is qualified to teach, who is qualified to preach. And when you pass that up, like I said, for these people who don't want to go to church, you put your, you, you, you can look at the Bible in any type of way and just misinterpret it, you know? So let's just not argue with people. If people believe in Jesus, fantastic. If they don't believe in Jesus, then pray for them. If they believe in God, good. Let's just make sure we believe in the same God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's just make sure that we can agree that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man should come to the Father but by him. You know, it's, it, you have groups out there that dedicate their time to debunking other religions and other beliefs, and perhaps there is a place for that, but for the, the main disciple, which is you, Focus on Jesus and just follow the scriptures for what they are. That's it. Do not waste extra energy on people who clearly do not want to listen, who clearly do not want to give you a chance to, you know, give your case and who possibly have an agenda. Because you can waste energy, you can get discouraged, getting tired up in that stuff. I know some believers who are tired, they get worn out just from arguing with atheists, arguing with Muslims, arguing with Jehovah's Witnesses, arguing with Pentecostals, Apostolics, Baptists, Pentecostals, all of those. They're just arguing with all of these different denominations and religions when the Bible never once commanded us to do that. In the, book, in, in, um, in the book of 2 Timothy, it tells us to study to show ourselves approved. In the book of Peter, it says to be ready to give every man an answer who asks. And most of the time, that's an, an, uh, a question regarding your faith. Okay? Usually, I'll, I'm not going to go back and forth with a person too long. If I see that their heart is hardened and that they're not willing to listen, then I just move on. You know, the seeds have been planted. We just have to trust the Lord to handle the rest. You know, I just wanted to drop this little message off on this rainy day. Maybe encourage somebody out there. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you all in the next video.